today is Earth Day, so I thought I would show you a few things that we do at home to recycle and reuse things. So this is one of my tomato plants from my gardening videos, and I reused an old mustard container. So this was the top part of it, and I used an eggshell to keep so the soil wouldn't fall out. And then I used the other part. Let me show you the other part. Hold on. This was the other part. The other end. So, Mommy Bear had to help poke holes in the bottom. That one was kind of hard to do. The, the water doesn't drain out as well on the bottom one, but it does okay. It's not growing as nicely as the other one is. But let me show you what we do with our cardboard. So, give me a second. Find it. Yeah, got it here. Hold on here somewhere. Old cereal boxes. What we do is we take out the bag and then we reuse the bag for things like putting things in the freezer or to take in your lunch for sandwiches and we store them in, guess what we store them in? Old cookie jars! <laughs> Isn't that funny? So then, what we do is we break the box down and we put them into a bigger box, like this. And then we collect the cardboard and then we take the cardboard to recycle. So, those are just some things you can do to help the Earth every day. So every day can be Earth Day. It saves a lot of money, too, because there are not a lot of things going in your garbage can if you have to pay to throw things away. Some people have to pay to throw their garbage away. And the garbage man comes and picks it up, and then you have to pay their garbage man. We recycle. So, I hope this gave you... Oh, wait, I forgot one other thing. Where's, where's my spaghetti? Hold on. So here is my spaghetti container, and what I do, you know some of those ones that don't have the, the flaps where you can actually reseal it? It's, it's quite annoying. Like, there's nothing there, and then you'd have to use a piece of tape or something. Isn't that annoying? You'd think that they would put a flap on there to seal it better, but no. So, anyway... You take an old box on the end that's sealed that you didn't that you didn't open and you cut it off. You cut the end off. And this one's an old macaroni and cheese box. So you could use that too. They could be the, if they're the similar size. And then you put it on you put it on the end. And slide it on. And it holds it very nicely, and then you don't have to use a piece of tape, and you just recycled. Well, reused, whichever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, well, those are just some of our ideas. So, I hope we gave you some good ideas that you can use to recycle and reuse things. And you can even use things for crafts, too. You can make lots of really cool things with recycled things in your home. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I'll give you another gardening update soon. Not too, too much is happening right now, but this one's getting some pretty good leaves on it. All thanks to my recycled mustard container. Bye.